What is going on guys? So today I'm going to show you how to turn on single clicking to open an item in the file explorer in Windows 11. So what I mean by this is you just click on a folder once and it will bring you right into it instead of double clicking on it like it is by default. So let me just uh, turn on the default settings really quick just to show you what I mean. So by default, let's say I want to go into this folder. To select it, I click on it once and then to go in it, I have to click on it twice. Now you can change this to whether if you just hover over it for a few seconds, it'll select it. And then if you click on it once, you'll go into it. So this is in the file explorer options. And we're just going to open this really quick right now. So go to the start menu on the bottom left hand corner here, click on it and then start typing file explorer options. So this is actually something that's in the control panel. It's not normally in the file explorer here. So you can go through control panel and find this manually, or you can just type it in in the start menu and it's much quicker. So let's just open this and then it'll be under the general tab, which is already open. And it's this guy right here. So just click on this. And then I recommend leaving this uh, selected underline icon titles only when I point at them. That way you know what you're selecting. So it'll just underline it really quick and you'll know that if you're pointing at it for a little bit, it's going to select it. So anyways, just going to click apply and I'm going to show you what this does now instead. So let me refresh the file explorer. And now if I want to select this folder, all I have to do is just hover over it. I didn't even click there. Hover over that for like two seconds. One, two, one, two, and it's been selected. Now to go into it, all I have to do is just click once and I'm inside. And as you can see, it's underlining it when I'm hovering over it, just so you know exactly what you're selecting. So yeah, guys, that's how you do it in Windows. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please drop a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.